When I got involved in the sport, it was uh, I set some goals for myself, and one of them being world champ, and uh, a few more that I had, and one was to looking at when I leave the sport to leave something behind, to leave something of value, to change uh, and improve where we're currently at. And so that's always the strive that I have in everything I do, with you know, with racing, uh, with um, with charity stuff, and then looking at, at this team aspect to have an opportunity to, to help create and be a part of a of, of a team and change how we race. And, and how it's grouped up as, uh, as far as sponsors and being more of a family is what really intrigued me, is looking at how do I give back from my experience and my success in the sport um, and help those that are up and coming. Uh, pers personally for me, I think, yeah, at times, you know, when you're out there on the course and, and you have fellow athletes doing the same race, you look at it as, if, if you're going through a difficult spot, you look at, hey, I have someone else that's there with me, and if I quit or if I, you know, uh, as far as give in a little bit, then, then I'm not supporting them, you know, and I want to race as hard as I can and, and as much as I can. And so for me, my family is not only the family of the team and this team, but also my family as my family, my wife and my kids, and, and more than sport and doing more for the community. So every time I race, the end result is not always about the win and the victory. You know, I always strive to be a champion, always strive to win. But if I don't win, that's not going to be the end all. It's not, it, it, it won't be that much of a bummer, you know? But if I also, by winning, it's going to be that much more uh, enjoyable and sad. It's fine. You know, you hear about athletes that go and set goals for themselves and they go and win an event, you know, a big championships or whatever, and then when they're done, just that, that joy of, of accomplishing that goal is kind of gone quick and there's really nothing that's left there. And so for me, it's a purpose in, in my racing and purpose in why I want to win and why I want to be champion is more than just a trophy or a medal or, or, a, or a, a first place title. It's, it's, it's more about the family, which includes the team. I got on a TT bike that you know was very successful in the tours, and, and and it worked out great, you know. And I rode well, and I broke records and all that stuff. And then every time, they would present a new uh, a new bike. You know, we went from the old TT bike to uh, uh, a TTX. And when that came out, I was a little, little reluctant because the bike I already had was really fast and rode really well, and was stiff and and it was light and all this stuff. So I was always reluctant in going forward to the next bike. And then as soon as I'd get on that bike I'd be blown away and I'd be like man the TTX is even better I can't believe how well this thing rides how smooth it is around corners and it rides like a road bike it climbs great really fast stiff like all that and then they're like okay now we got this new bike called Speed Concept and I was like all right but I love my bike like I don't want to go to a new one and they're like no I really think you like it and they explained all the details and the no cable showing and everything integrated and the bar setup and the front brake and the duo trap and the speed box and all those things that came through and it was such a cool journey to also be a part of that you know they came to me almost two years before the speed concept was launched with just drawings and said hey this is what we want to do this is some ideas we have and they had two or three ideas and they were like we want some input on this this and this what do you think about this idea or that idea and it was great to be a part of that and and to see them all of a sudden want to be more in, in, into the sport of triathlon and say, hey, we, we want your feedback, we want your opinion, we want to dive into the sport full force. And, and to me, it was you know, two or three years of getting great support, but knowing that they were missing a huge, uh, a, a huge market and, and, and some, some great things could happen. And for them to build the speed concept was above and beyond. I mean, I've learned I've learned a lot being here every year for the last 10 years or so, and and seeing how the race unfolds. You know, a lot of times you may be in a position that you're doing really well, and something can have happen, and you fall back really far. Or even sometimes when you fall back far, but you stay in the game, that things can turn. You know, and and yeah, my goal was was as far as to win this year or or last year, and and the goal was to say, okay, if 
to go and have a great run. And as soon as I got off the bike, the legs gave out a little bit and there was something that was going on in my system that didn't work and didn't and was not at, in its game at the time, you know. And, and I ran well for the first bit. And then uh, when Maka caught me at mile 13 or 14 or something, and he went by me, you know, and, and, and I couldn't respond. I was in a lot of pain. I had a lot of issues going on. And, and I watched him run, run up the road and, and I thought it was over. And so you go through these, uh, these dialogues with yourself in a race. And, and I think the people that race the best are the ones that can control what they talk about, you know? And so you get some negative talk that's going on and how quick are you to, to, to turn that around and start speaking positive again. And so for me, it was when he went by me, I was like, all right, it's over. The goal of winning, it's over, you know? But then I saw him sitting up the road. He was only not even a minute in front of me and he wasn't pulling away anymore, you know? And I was like, all right, I'm still in this. Let's stay focused, you know? And at that time I was feeling good again. And then I would hit hard spots again and you'd pull away and then Raylert came by and encouraged me and and there was just it's a lot of ups and downs and so for me to stay in the game is always about uh, giving my all and being an example to my son uh, and my family and my wife that support me all year. So yeah, I'm always going to improve upon you know where I'm at. You always got to move a step up. You know, every year the races get faster. Half Ironmans are faster now. Olympic distances are faster, and Ironmans are faster. You're racing harder and harder every year, so you always have to improve. And so I'm going to for sure be focusing on all three aspects. You know, the swim, bike, and run. You know, and and I haven't had a chance to showcase my run and really, you know, put a uh, a perfect race out there. And and I'm looking forward to hope hope hopefully doing that. You know this year and in the races to come.